Coming up, the NCAA Division II semifinals. Florida Southern with a record of 27 and 4, and Virginia Union 24 and 4 from the Springfield Civic Center, Springfield, Massachusetts. Dave Cohn along with John Andres. And right now, let's meet the starting players and the entire squads of these two teams tonight. Here's the public address announcer, Jim Norman. Ladies and gentlemen, Welcome to tonight's semifinal second game of the doubleheader of the 1980 NCAA Division II Championships. Introducing from the Southern Region, making their third appearance, the first in the Final Four, the Florida Southern College Moccasins with a record of 27 and 4. And the South Atlantic Region, Virginia Union University Panthers, making their fourth appearance. They're first in the final four with a record of 24 and four. The team members for Florida Southern College, number 12, Clyde Robertson, a guard 6'1", junior from Orlando, Florida. Virginia Union, number 12, a 5'11 guard, a senior from Winston-Salem, North Carolina, Willard Coker. Number 23, a guard at 6'2", a freshman from Stewart, Florida, Moses Johnson. For Virginia Union, number 14, a guard, a freshman, Irvin Carter from Richmond, Virginia. For Florida Southern, number 32, Cesar Odio, a forward, a junior from Miami, Florida. For Virginia Union, number 22, a forward at 6'1", freshman from Newport News, Virginia, Curtis Powell. For Florida Southern, number 33, a guard, 6'1", senior, Miami, Florida, Warren Butler. Virginia Union, number 33, William Wall, a forward, 6'6", a freshman, Washington, D.C. Florida Southern, number 42, a forward, Mark King, 6'6", sophomore, Rotunda, Florida. Virginia Union, number 34, Anthony Felder, a center, junior, Cleveland, Ohio. And number 41, William Jackson, a center, 6'6", 200, a sophomore, Cincinnati, Ohio. Florida Southern, number 43, Bob Dolan, a 200-pound senior, 6'7", Clearwater, Florida. The starting lineups for tonight's second semifinal game leading to the national championships. For the Florida Southern College Moccasins, starting at forward, wearing number 15, at six foot four, a junior from the Bronx, New York, Mike Hayes. For Virginia Union, starting at forward, wearing number 24, a six foot five junior from Harrisonburg, Pennsylvania, David Lewis. For Florida Southern, wearing number 24, a 6'4 forward, a junior from Brooklyn, New York, Felix Tertullia. Number 21 for Virginia Union, a forward at 6'4, a 200 pound senior from Asheville, North Carolina, Michael Linney. For Florida Southern, Wearing number 31 at center, at six foot seven, a sophomore from Trenton, New Jersey, John Ebling. For Virginia Union, number 44 at center, six foot six freshman from Miami, Florida, Larry Holmes. For Florida Sutton, number 22, a forward, six four, a sophomore, Center Valley, Pennsylvania, Brian Rader. Virginia Union, wearing number 10, a guard at 5'9", a senior from Baltimore, Maryland, Derwin Lilly. Florida Sutton, wearing number 11, a guard at 6'1", a senior from Yonkers, New York, Kurt Alston. And for Virginia Union, wearing number 11, a guard, six feet senior from Richmond, Virginia, Keith Valentine. The coach for Florida Southern, Hal Whistle. For Virginia Union, Dave Robbins. The officials for tonight's second semifinal game 
The referee tonight is Phil Bova, the umpire Bob Burson. And that is Phil Bova with the basketball. Bob Burson on the right will be the umpire, both out of the Big Ten. And we're just about set to go in this NCAA Division II national semifinal from the Springfield, Massachusetts Civic Center. And I say Massachusetts because last year this tournament was played in Springfield, Missouri. It'll be back here in Springfield, Massachusetts next year as well. It was a longtime fixture in the Evansville, Indiana area for 20 years, but has been moved around for the last couple of years. This the 23rd NCAA Division II tournament. Over the last 10 years, 10 different schools have won this tournament. The defending champions are from the University of North Alabama. 27-4 for Florida Southern and Virginia Union at 24-4. John Ebling to jump center. And the tap is controlled by the team in white, the Virginia Union Panthers. Side jump is around and out the rebound. The man they call Bam Bam, John Ebling. This is Kurt Austin. Down court to Brian Radon, R-A-D-O-N. Long jump and the basket by Austin. That's confidence. National semis, get your hands on the ball, bang, right away. Backcourt of Derwin Lilly. And Keith Valentine, that is Lilly number 10. Valentine is 11, that's him with the ball. Dave, something amazing, both these teams feature players, that five players that score in double figures. Therefore, both teams are very well balanced. The jump by... Valentine, Keith Valentine hits, and we're tied at two. Full court pressure off the inbounds. Austin in the backcourt. He's number 11, and he walked that time. Early turnover. Now the ball goes back to the team in white. Virginia Union, the Panthers, out of the Central Intercollegiate Athletic Association, 12 schools in North Carolina and Virginia. Tied at two here in Springfield, Massachusetts on ESPN. In the pivot. Now the baseline jump and air ball rebounded nicely underneath and put up and in by Michael Linney, number 21. The problem with his own defense, players sometimes don't box out and Linney got free then. No one knew about him and he just found the hole and found that loose ball. The pressure of bothering Florida Southern here in the early going. They've had to work to get the ball across the midcourt line. 22 is uh, Radon. And now 11 is Kurt Alston, the captain of these Florida State moccasins. Side jump. Again, Florida Southern can't come up with it. Offensive rebound, a reject, and a third shot. Finally put up and in by 24, David Felix Tertullian. Both teams playing that zone defense. Misfire and Bam Bam. John Ebling has the rebound, nearly had it thrown away, and he did on the turnover. It was ruled last touch by number 24, David Lewis. So again, Virginia Union forcing a turnover, and they have the ball. Derwin Lilly is 10. Keith Valentine hit one from there before, misses this time. Strong offensive rebound and the basket. Number 44, Larry, Larry Holmes. Six to four, Virginia Union leading it. They're playing tight defense all over the court. It's almost a man-to-man -man defense in some situations, but it is basically a zone, but they're working very hard, the Virginia Union team, and that's the answer to any zone defense. The Florida Southern outside jump shot. Mike Hayes, left alone, hits the 20-footer, and we're tied at six. Opening moments of play here in Springfield, Massachusetts. Dave Cohen and John Andrews. Zone defense, both teams. Keith Valentine, long jump. No, Ebling battling for the rebound. Boy, he is strong off the boards. He's 6'7", and he uses all of his frame. Ebling out of Trenton, New Jersey, where Dr. Hal Whistle coached in the first of his four coaching stops. There's Ebling on the offensive boards. Fakes, jump, oh, shoots, hits. Boy, was that impressive. 
Evelyn kept the ball alive. The man you're looking at, look at that body. Kept the ball alive and then got the rebound and put it right in. Beautiful play by him. He is strong. Now Florida Southern with four players with a bucket each. As you said, John, both teams with five men in double figures. So far, seven of the ten have scored. Long jump, strong rebound, and we get a travel on the fallaway attempt by Larry Holmes. Neither team nervous. They're out there bombing right away. Larry Holmes going to commit a little walking violation as he faded away to take that fall away jump shot. Both teams are right into it, though. They're not tentative. They're not hesitant. They're getting right into their game. They try the zone trap. Ebling breaks it. Radon. Air ball and the outlet. Valentine and Lilly. Derwin Lilly goes around Austin, pulls up, and feeds Valentine. Uses the glass nicely. Number 11, E. Valentine. Tied at eight. A near steal, and yes, a steal by Lilly, but taken back by Austin. Florida Southern having all sorts of troubles getting across the midcourt line. The feed down low, loose on the floor, still loose. Austin takes it, throws up a prayer. <laughs> and it's out of bounds. It will be long to Florida Southern. Creative offense. <laughs> Kurt Austin. Austin now number 11, going to get the ball. Look how he gets this one up. <laughs> I don't know what he had in mind, but he certainly wasn't drawing a foul, and it was a bad shot. On the inbounds, Ebling in position, and he was hacked by the man raising his hand, Derwin Lilly. John Ebling, 31. Look at how strong he is. He contested that ball right to the end, and now uh, on that sequence, Florida Southern will take the ball out. First foul for both Lilly and the Virginia Union Panthers. Feed to Ebling. He blew the layup. And they say goaltending score the basket. Michael Linney anticipated, got way up high. Linney number 21 coming up there way over the basket, but that was a goaltend. The ball had hit the backboard already. Down low, Larry Holmes likes to body, use that body inside. And the ball knocked out of bounds will come back to Virginia Union. Good basketball in the opening minutes. Pressure. Virginia Union on offense now. Number 10 is Derwin Lilly. Long jump. And there's Ebling. He must have four or five rebounds already. In the corner, Radon. Outside they go from Lewis to Austin. Now the cross court one hand pop. And off the miss that time by Hayes. Back come the Panthers of Virginia Union. Hey, this is fun basketball to watch. It's run and gun, and everybody's going at it out here. Valentine with a feed left all alone for the driving layup. Felix Tertullian. Lewis. They get David Lewis on the uh, layup. David, the only uh, junior in this starting lineup for Virginia Union. Tied at 10. Five minutes gone in this first half. Other players, of course, being seniors in the uh, Virginia Union starting lineup. Bam drive! Larry Holmes off the board. Here's Lilly. Lilly getting the step on Lewis. Tries to feed back, but he traveled. Drag that back foot. Throwing Lilly at 5'9", number 10, the man you're looking at. He took an extra step here as he penetrated to the basket. Notice how fast Florida Southern got back on defense. Lilly can move, and that defense was back with him. Again, a zone trap by Virginia Union. They're in white. Florida Southern, the moccasins, out of the Sunshine State Conference. This is Brian Radon. Loses his man, gets the jump off the glass. Nice move, Brian Radon. By number 22, Ryan Back the other way, offensive foul. The foul is on. First goal on number 21. Michael Linney committing this offensive foul. The defensive man had gotten in good position. And Linney crashed right into him. Boy, these teams are running and gunning. They are hustling up and down the court, getting those shots up. Back we go, Dave Lewis in heavy traffic. Throws one up, offensive rebound nicely by Haynes. Puts it up, no good. Lewis with a rebound on the follow shot. 
14 to 10, Florida Southern leading it now. Long jump by Valentine. Hits the front iron. There's Valentine for his own rebound. He feeds down low, and the ball comes back out, and we make it a three-second call. That's what it is. Three seconds. One of the few times anyone on the offense was standing still. Florida Southern leading Virginia Union 14 to 10. Ryan Radon, Kurt Austin outside, Felix Tertullian left alone, and he doesn't get the roll, and the ball rolls out of bounds, last touch by Larry Holmes. So a break for Florida Southern, and a chance now to Larry Holmes their lead to six. 44 there, getting the rebound, but not controlling the ball, and on the little bit of interplay between he and the Florida Southern players, the ball just flew out of his hands. On the inbounds, Tertullian, now to Alston. And they'll come outside to set it up again. They want to spread that zone out a little bit. I don't know if they're going to have the patience, though. They're going to move the ball around. That zone now has to be made to work. Misfire from the head of the key. Ebling back in the offense. Here's Tertullian. He hits again. Felix Tertullian's got six. And it's a six-point lead for Florida Southern. The number one rated Division II team in the country. Florida Southern, a record of 27 and four. Here's a corner jump by Holmes, a whistle underneath. And this foul will go against Florida Southern. Michael Hayes committing that foul for Florida Southern on a very aggressive defensive box out. He just uh, did a little too much pushing. Derwin Lilly inbounds to Valentine. Back to Lilly. He's left alone. Now he decides to shoot, and he misses. Offensive rebound. Larry Holmes outside. Keith Valentine will put it up and get it. And the basket number 11, Keith Valentine. And he's got six. Valentine, a senior out of Richmond, Virginia. Florida Southern breaks the pressure. And Alston controls outside. Radon. Look at them double teaming Ebling underneath. Here's a move by Tertullian, lost the handle, and the rebound tracked down by Radon. Play 32 from Hal Whistle. What do you think it is, John? Well, there it is. <laughs> Left to the foul line jumper, then, and the big guy comes in, gets the rebound, and stuffs it. And that's play 31. <laughs> John Ebling's got six. It is a six point Florida Southern lead, 18 to 12. 24 is uh, Dave Lewis. Derwin Lilly. Now Lewis from the right corner. Doesn't get it. Rebound is made. Florida Southern packing that zone in down low. Challenging uh, Virginia Uden to beat them from outside. Radon. Alston now to Tertullian. Cross court deflected but taken back by Radon. Notice how that ball isn't being dribbled. It's going right from player to player in the air. It's very tough on the defense. They can't move as fast as the ball can move in the air. Valentine with a bounce pass to uh, Lilly. Now he gets it down low. Pulled away by Larry Holmes. And look at Austin track down the rebound. Look how quick he is as he drives it. Valentine banks it in. Super move. Robinson by number 11, Kurt Alston. Austin now with four in the game. It is an eight-point lead, the largest advantage so far. Here's Derwin Lilly again open. Just gets a part of the rim and a push off on the rebound. It is against Larry Holmes. Cesar Odio, that is he, about to inbound the ball, substitution in the game. John Ebling going up for that beautiful slam dunk. Ebling at 6'7", can sky. He's going to take a rest now as Odio comes in to give him a blow. Odio at 6'5", 
So uh, Florida Southern loses a couple of inches on the boards, but they're enjoying this eight point lead. And let's see if they can maintain the pressure. And now Florida Southern looks like they want to draw them out of the zone. Anthony Felder in the lineup for Virginia Union. And Virginia Union does come out. The onus is on the team that is behind to force the action. And they come out now to match up on Florida Southern. Michael Hayes down to Felix Tertullian, drives the lane, left his feet, got his own rebound. No good. And Radon battling for the rebound. And they'll jump it up. Three opportunities, perhaps, for Florida Southern, depending on the outcome of this jump, John. Well, we got a 6'9 guy in there now for Virginia Union. Felder, the man I mentioned, he's in the middle of that, uh, just to the right of that pile. Now, Florida Southern, though, getting the benefit of their offensive board aggressiveness. Ebling comes back in. He got about a 15 second rest. Good move sometimes, though. A guy can catch his breath pretty good if he sits down for 30 seconds a minute, and that's what Hal Whistle saw. The big guy needed a quick blow, and he got it, but right back into it. Off the tap, it's Virginia Union controlling. Keith Valentine, Derwin Lilly, 22 in the game is Curtis Powell. This is Lilly. Now Valentine, 25 footer. Woo. Number 11, Keith Valentine. Maybe only 24 feet because they, they do have the markings on this floor here at the Springfield Civic Center. And in all honesty, he was about a foot inside the three-point line. I tell you, though, that's a pretty long jump shot. Tertullian holds up on the three-on-one. Now outside of Alston. It's 20 to 14, Florida Southern with the ball and the lead. Virginia Union still in that 2-3 zone defense. Florida Southern's going to make them come out and play them. Ebling, will he use the glass? Yes, and does he get the results? Absolute perfect execution. Ball found the right man, no dribbling. This team is well coached by Hal in that respect. Hal Whistle, that is. They don't dribble the ball unnecessarily. Valentine outside to Lilly, who throws in the long jump. That's his first bucket, and it's 22 to 16 now. Felix Tertullian has his pass knocked out of bounds by number 21, Michael Linney. Cesar Odio comes in the game with the explicit instructions to call high post and go to the high post from Dr. Hal Whistle. 22, Radon. Ebling is at the high post. There he is, started his drive. And he got fouled. Referee Phil Bova out of the Big Ten signaling the foul. Phil looks like a Big Ten football player. A big, strong guy, that official is. And they do have some physical players out there. I guess the officials have to be just <laughs> as physical. Job qualification. Inside, Ebling. Nice pass for Radon, but an equally fine defensive play by Derwin Lilly. Knocked it out of bounds. Good anticipation. Florida Southern players are all looking for each other. If they don't have the shot, they're looking right away for a teammate. They go way outside on the inbounds, and Alston will run the show for Florida Southern out of Lakeland, Florida. Cesar Odio from Miami to Michael Hayes. Now Kurt Alston, who's from Yonkers. And Brian Radon. Hayes is out of the Bronx. Radon to Ebling in heavy traffic, turns and squares and hits the last jumper again. Beautiful shot. Ebling going right up with the ball. Eight point lead. Ties the largest margin Florida Southern has enjoyed. Again, that tight zone. They're just daring Virginia Union to beat them from outside. Shot! Look at that rebound by Evelyn. And the quick outlet to Alston who decides to slow it down. Alston directs Evelyn to the high post. Michael Hayes out of the corner, swish. 
You know, Dave, what I'm impressed with is the pace that this Florida Southern team plays at. They work very hard, they rush the ball up, and then they move it around so quickly on offense. These guys are in some shape. So 1-3-1 one, one, it looks like now defensively for Florida Southern. Abelin just took a, a elbow in the face as he was moving from side to side. Didn't bother him at all. Nice drive. That's Willard Coker in the game. A 5'11 senior out of Winston-Salem, North Carolina. First basket for Coker. And it's 26-18, Florida Southern. Nice move by Austin to break the press, but then he loses the ball out of bounds. Wholesale substitutions right now. Raiden sits down, and he is replaced by Mark King. King, a sophomore at 6'6", out of Rotunda, Florida. At intensity as Florida Southern raced the ball up court, but Union got back quickly and caused that turnover. Good defensive play by Virginia Union. Here's Derwin Lilly firing in and out. The rebound, Tertullian. Excellent position by Tertullian under the basket, and he got lucky the ball came right to him. 15, Michael Hayes, 24, Felix Tertullian. The crowding Eveling now on the low post. Number 31 is Eveling looking for uh, some shooting room. He's got 10 in the game. He's a high man. Ball knocked out of bounds. Mark King is number 42. Just six minutes to go here in the first half, and Florida Southern enjoying that eight-point lead. Florida Southern on the move. Could have been an offensive foul on that play, but the official didn't pick it up. And King takes his first shot and misses badly. Larry Holmes with the rebound and the outlet. Curtis Powell lost the handle, and there to take it away was Michael Hayes. Back come the moccasins, and back they go, losing the ball. Now Valentine, racehorse basketball right here. Valentine throws it away, and it's recovered by Derwin Lilly, who loses it and recovers it. And it's Valentine. Just like a speed up film. Boy, these guys quick. This is Division Two, and you can ask the coaches anywhere. They say the only difference is the big, big man that Division One can claim. Well, Florida Southern beat eight of 12 Division One teams they played this year, including some very fine teams. Seems like Holy Cross, South Carolina, Florida. Ebling gets the basket and the offensive foul. He's got 12 in the game, and he's got his first foul. John Ebling, 31, putting it on the floor and going up strongly to the hoop. He's got good spring, got size, he works hard. Can't believe he averages 9.6 rebounds a game. I, I, it would seem that he has that much already in this game. John, I, I like the fact that he seems so fundamentally skilled, always knows where he is, whether he's going to use the glass or... Uh, shoot for the basket itself and great positioning on the boards very physical willing to bang with people too and it doesn't bother him he's not looking to uh, become uh, take advantage of people he just keeps working out there they leave Derwin Lilly alone and there is Evelyn again for a rebound he's got to be past his game and uh, tournament average of 9-3 and 9-6 well he owns the boards there's Mark King pencil thin and he travels Will it Coker back in the game as Derwin Lilly sits down. Coker's number 12. Keith Valentine, a long range bomber, is number 11. They work the backcourt for the Panthers of Virginia Union. Larry Holmes gets position against Ebling and the basket for Holmes, and he's now got four. Again. Larry's a 20-point-a-game scorer for Virginia Union, also their leading rebounder, and he's got to get going here or else Florida Southern's going to run away with this game. It's 28-20. Michael Hayes has the ball knocked out of bounds by Michael Linney. Linney out of Asheville, North Carolina. Michael Hayes out of the Bronx. And Brian Raiden comes back in to replace Mark King. King looked a little bit shaky out there. Tertullian forces the jump in traffic. Ebeling battling for the rebound, and he commits the foul. 
Second foul on John Ebling. John going to come in and sweep for that ball. Notice how he, he has that lateral jumping ability. A lot of big players can only go up straight in the air for rebounds, but Ebling showed that he can also go out further from the ball in order to get it or further from the position he's in. A very good quality in a big man. Right down the middle, number 24, David Lewis. He's got four, and the lead has been cut to six. It had been as high as 10 at one point. Reyna to Felix Tertullian. Good pressure by Keith Valentine, who twice has swiped the ball away from uh, Reyna. Well, by holding the ball now, Florida Southern ends up way out high. You can't hold the ball, you got to keep it moving. They've been doing it well, except for that sequence. We saw Epling out at the high post, now he moves down low. Now he comes up high. Florida Southern will try and pick up Ebling as he cuts across the middle or a cutter in order to penetrate that defense and get something going inside. The NCAA Division II semifinals in the National Championship Tournament here in Springfield, Massachusetts. The other semifinal, North Alabama and New York Tech. Felix Tertullian with a side jump. No good. The rebound is taken by Michael Linney. He's 21. Now Willard Coker streaking the forecourt. Leaves for Valentine. They get it down low to Holmes, and he was front and back by Alston and Ebling, and the ball went out of bounds. Good defensive help by Florida Southern as the ball went in. Junior Union showing signs of life here now as they have cut this lead down to six. Just about 2.10 to go in the first half. Once again, Florida Southern having trouble getting the ball across. Now Ebling on Linney, knocked out of bounds, belongs still to Florida Southern. Two minutes to play in the first half. Outside jump, no good. The momentum definitely is switched. And here's a breakaway with Valentine going back door. Keith Valentine hits double figures. He's got 10 in the game. And Virginia Union back within four. Under two minutes now in the first half. You can definitely sense the swing and momentum from Florida Southern to Virginia Union. Let's see if they can get it to Ebeling. 11 is Austin, 22 Reyna. Here is an offensive foul by Michael Hayes, and the man on the floor likes that. Willard Coker drew the foul, didn't mind paying the price. Hayes making that move to the hoop, determined to go, but the official right on the case. I don't know, we, we didn't get a shot at the official making the call, Dave, but boy, he made that emphatically. A real good, strong call by that official. Willard Coker signals for some movement. A minute 10 to play in the first half. Here's Coker's jump. And the rebound is knocked out of bounds. Last touch by Holmes. Florida Southern will have it with a minute five to go. They lead by four. Their lead was 10 on a couple of occasions at 26-16 and 28-18. Virginia Union scored the last six. Alston lost the dribble, but it became a pass, and Tertullian misses the shot, and Radon commits the foul. Michael Linney in excellent position for Virginia Union getting that ball. He'll see him, number 21, going up and getting that ball. We'll see how his offensive man was behind him. He had good position, and he drew the foul. First foul on Radon, only the fifth team foul. Ebling has two, Hayes, Alston, and Radon, one apiece. The idea on defense, get yourself between the ball and the basket. 1-3-1 one, one zone, long jump, Valentine. And the rebound goes to Ebling off the top. Now Radon with a break, will he drive on Coker? He does, and nicely used the glass and avoided the offensive foul. Big Boy, basket. He, he just went straight up in the air. He was going to the hoop, and then he just started to go vertical. Ebling left his feet, but he got fouled by Alston, a pair of 11s. Uh, 
beautiful drive. Notice the direction all of a sudden. Mid-air direction change by Brian Raiden. Beautiful drive. Well, the Coker on defense did not hold his ground in trying to draw the foul. He kept backing up on the drive by Raiden. I'll tell you, you have to have great spring in your legs to do that kind of thing, too. That looks a lot easier than it is. That's Curtis Powell, 22, who's checked back in. A 6-1 freshman out of Newport News, Virginia. Valentine of the line. And he now has 11. Valentine uh, transferred from uh, University of North Carolina to come over here to Virginia Union. 85% free throw shooter, and he makes two. Now a three on one. Michael Hayes with a big step and a driving layup. Hayes looking at his teammate as if he was going to pass. That's a fake, and it worked perfectly. Very tough shot, too, not using backboard. Here's a fling out of the corner, an air ball. Now we get a travel as Florida Southern tried to come up court in a hurry. Look at that huge step and then straight up to the hoop. Hardly looked at the basket, you can see. Just sort of floated it up there, but uh, beautiful shot by Hayes. Can they beat the clock? They missed the first and they don't get a second chance. And so we have come to the end of the first half of this NCAA Division II National Semifinal Game here at the Springfield Civic Center with a score, Florida Southern 32 and Virginia Union 26. Back with more after these words on ESPN. Center in Springfield, Massachusetts, in Florida Southern at the semifinals of the NC2A Division II Championships is leading Virginia Union by six points. And my guest right now is Tom Nyland. Tom, Director of Athletics at Lemoyne College, also has the great responsibility of being chairman of the committee here of the National Collegiate Athletic Association Division II Championships. And Tom, Yes, it's been a busy two weeks for you preparing for these championships. It's been busy, but it's been great. Uh, we're just so elated that we could be part of this program at the ESPN. Tom, in your many years at uh, Lemoyne, I know you've been doing things besides wearing executive titles, uh, and I know in those years you did a little coaching yourself. How long did you do that? Well, I coached 26 years, and we were fortunate enough to get to the regional oh, tournaments yeah. seven times, but never got to this Mystic Magic Four. The Magic Four. You know, it's funny. These days, everyone talks about the Magic Four, whether it be Division One or Division Two. There's a specialness to the to the uh, Final Four, isn't there? Yes, there is. You know, well, everybody looks forward to that. Ain't high school, junior high, right up to the top level, and we're very proud of the Division Two tournament. Uh, great players and great competition, and we're most pleased that we think we're going to be on national television, give the players a chance for some real exposure. Tom, dealing with the selection committee now, tell us how you decide on the Final Four. Well, we divide the country into eight areas, and we have a committee in each area. Some are automatics and automatic qualifying, but most we keep a record of all the teams across the country, weigh their schedule, and look at the fact that uh, who they competed against and how the results were. Tom, I think it's very interesting when you look over the years at the kind of players, the caliber of players that have played here in Division II. It's amazing how many have gone on to basketball fame. Gee, it really is, you know, when you think that uh, Earl Monroe and Walt Frazier were college division players and uh, the leading scorer in the NBA, George Gervin. And there's great players here, as you've seen in the game and a half tonight so far. Also, guys like Walt Frazier and Marvin Webster. Division two is something that uh, people don't realize how strong it is until you mention names like that. Tom Nyland, director of athletics at Lemoyne, and also head of this chairman of this committee for Division II basketball. Congratulations on a fine job, and I'm sure you're going to be looking forward to tomorrow's finals. We're just anxious to play, and uh, we're very thankful to have the opportunity. Okay, thank you, Tom Nyland. We'll be back at Springfield, Massachusetts, right after this message.
We're back at the Springfield Civic Center. Dave Cohen and John Andres awaiting the second half between Florida Southern and Virginia Union with Florida Southern leading it by six. We'll be back in just one moment. We're back for the second half of this NCAA Division II semifinal game. Free throws, only two attempted in the entire first half, both by Virginia Union. The big uh, statistic rebounding, Florida Southern with a lead, an edge of seven, and John Ebeling had ten by himself. Back live, Keith Valentine is fouled as he gets his shot away to open the second half. The foul on a 24 Felix Tertullian. And so just as we said, there were only two foul shots attempted in the first half. We opened the second half with foul shots <laughs> by Keith Valentine, the man who canned the only two in the first 20 minutes. Keith, five for 10 from the field in the first half. By far, his high, the high score of the Virginia Union team. The next uh, closest man had four points. Uh, but Keith doing the main damage from the field for Virginia Union. John Ebling uh, also leading Florida Southern with 12 to lead his team. Now Valentine's got 14. And again, the press. And let's see if Kurt Alston can break it. He goes to Felix Tertullian. And finally, they get it to Evelyn. Hayes is 15. Alston is the man with the ball. Again, it's a zone defense by Virginia Union. The Panthers trailing now by five points, make it four. Here's Tertullian in heavy traffic. And he is uh, hammered. Only 10 personal fouls called in the entire first half. You can see that zone defense collapse on him right there and do a, a crush job. The personal on number 24, David Lewis. 24, Lewis. David Lewis, who uh, picked up the foul, is also shaken up. Looks like he banged his knee against Felix Tertullian. Lewis limps off. David Lewis, well, at 6'5", a very important man for this team, a starter, a, a, a key rebounder. It's not a big team, Virginia Union team, and Lewis hopefully will be back in action in a moment. On the inbounds, Tertullian in very heavy traffic. It's back tapped and kept alive by Ebling. Ebling starts his drive. Good defensive play by Anthony Felder. He just came in the game to replace Lewis, and he ties up Ebling. Tell you, that's a fullback. You'll see John Ebling now getting some, uh, getting an obstacle, but not accepting that. <laughs> he just kept marching on. Did not protect the ball well. That's why he got into a problem. He also banged his knee, but he looks okay. Yet you could see his strength as two men were trying to grab the ball from him. Referee Bob Burson puts it up, and Brian Radon controls from Florida Southern. Again, the zone by Virginia Union, 2-1-2. Ryan Radon fakes but can't shoot. Outside to Hayes. Top of the key, Tertullian. Very deliberate move there. Gives it up to Alston. Now Radon drives on Linney, choked off. And Alston shoves it down low. Radon, will he use the glass? He does. Even in heavy traffic, without a, a good handle on the ball, he knew what to do with it. That's the way to do it. When you're on the side of the basket, use that backboard. It's much easier to get the ball in the hole that way. There's Derwin Lilly for his first bucket of the second half. He's got four in the game. Derwin shoots that ball literally off his ear. Very tough shot to execute. Nearly a palm as Tertullian 
came into forecourt. You don't get style points, do you, John? <laughs> <laughs> Here's Tertullian. Now look at that. Almost palmed it. Derwin Lilly came up and committed that foul for Virginia Union. He's got two in the game. Radon takes the tough shot at the baseline. He was he was open and moved to the baseline for a tougher shot. He hit it. Oh. He's got eight points. It's a six-point Florida Southern lead. And they're setting up their zone defense now. They have been staying in that zone pretty much throughout the game. First game we saw man-to-man -man by both teams. And this game zoned by both teams. First game won by New York Tech. Derwin Lilly misfiring. Rebound kept alive by Michael Hayes. And finally he comes down with it. Now he leads for Tertullian. Action away from the ball between Austin and Valentine. No harm, no foul. Michael Hayes. Moccasin basket number 15, Mike Hayes. And the Florida Southern Moccasins lead it by eight. Near steal, but Linney controls. Holmes looking for the ball down low. He gets it. But it's swatted away, taken by Tertullian, who wisely gives it up to Alston. He dribbles into heavy traffic and loses the ball. The championship game of this NCAA Division II National Tournament coming up tomorrow night at midnight here on ESPN. That is midnight Eastern time on ESPN. The winner of this game against New York Tech for the Division II National Championship. Union substitution number 24, David Lewis. Willard Coker is in the game. Willard Coker, number 12 for Florida Southern. In the first half, Coker had two points. He replaces Derwin Lilly. David Lewis back in the game. They feed Larry Holmes down low. He muscles it up, gets his own rebound, puts it up, and he scores. Tough basket by Larry Holmes. Only four points in the first half. He's the main man for this team, a 20-point-a-game scorer. Austin having trouble, as was his teammate Tertullian. Radon, Ebling has not touched the ball offensively. Goes for the offensive rebound, and he commits a foul. Went up the back with David Lewis. Lower right now, you're going to see John Ebling crashing the boards. He comes into the picture and creates a lot of contact. Number 31 committing the foul. He's turning around to question the official, but there's no question about it. He mashed some bodies to get that rebound. 16 and a half minutes to play, and John Ebling now has three personal fouls. Ebling plays with reckless abandon, which is a great quality, but you've got to throw a little discipline into that, too. Keith Valentine off the pass, hits a tough shot. 16 in the game. He was running one way, got the ball, and fired the other way. <laughs> Valentine, the second leading scorer on this Virginia Union team, averages 15 a game. The steal by Linney in the basket. Four points for Linney. Tertullian is not a good ball handler. And Virginia Union is forcing that ball into Tertullian's hands. Now they break the press. Ebling has it knocked away on a defensive play by Coker. The ball still belongs to the Moccasins of Florida Southern. 38-36. Here the steal by Linney in the bank. And as we come back, a traveling call on Michael Hayes. Action really picking up now. The tempo's increasing. Both teams going to commit some errors with this kind of tempo, but it sure is fun and entertaining for the spectators. VUU, Virginia Union University. Vocal cheering section up here. The feed cross court to Linney from Lewis. He cans it, we're tied at 38. Michael Linney off the cross court feed from Dave Lewis. Tied at 38. Last time this game was tied, it was 10 all. Coker on the steal now. 
And here come the Panthers of Virginia Union. Can they take the lead? Yes! Boy, are they on fire. That's enough for the time being for Dr. Hal Whistle and Florida Southern. The moccasins want timeout. ESPN continues to bring you the NCAA's March of Champions. Join your Total Sports Cable Network for the Division II Hockey Championship game. The date is Monday, March 17th, St. Patrick's Day at 12.30 a.m. Eastern Time, right here on ESPN. Dave Robbins, the Virginia Union coach, Doing a lot of talking, he's got a lot to say to his team now. He's got to be delighted the way this team has come surging back. Got to say that first half belonged to Florida Southern. But right now, Virginia Union looks like they're taking this game right over now. And Hal Whistle, a coach of Florida Southern, got to try and get his team to grab control back in this game. Florida Southern's, no question about it, the favorite to win this tournament, certainly win this game. They came in as the number one ranked Division II team in the country. They had a tremendous season in uh, winning 27 games, eight of those against Division I teams. They're the heavyweight, but right now they are certainly being challenged by Virginia Union, a team that won 24 and lost only four. There are the vocal, very vocal supporters of Virginia Union University out of the CIAA League. That's the Central Intercollegiate Athletic Association, a league in North Carolina and Virginia comprising uh, 12 schools. Kurt Austin with a bounce pass to Brian Radon. This is the third lead in the game Virginia Union has enjoyed. Ebling is tied up. They're doing a good job of shutting him off offensively. Here's Radon shooting and missing, but he's fouled by Michael Liddy. The previous lead enjoyed by Virginia Union was way back in the opening two minutes of the game when Larry Holmes uh, shot the Panthers into a 6-4 to four lead. Since then, Florida Southern has led up until the final minute. Ryan Radon at the line now. Had four in the first half. Now he's got five here in the second half, nine in the game. Beautiful foul shooting for him. Both these teams very good from the line. Uh, Florida Southern 72% as a team. And uh, Virginia Union 73. That's outstanding. We're tied at 40. Radon with 10. He's a, an 86% free throw shooter. Now somewhat of a press and a travel against Virginia Union. And their supporters are up and screaming. Michael Linney a little sloppy with that ball. That means Florida Southern's working very hard on defense. Evelyn gets it down low, turn around. Beautiful shot. First time he's had the ball on offense. He's got 14 in the game. Look at Coker break the press. Down Broadway. Number five, Coker. It's 42 all. 14 and a half minutes to play. Second half, Brian Radon. Defensive man trailing was Willard Coker, and he committed the foul. Intense. Foul on uh, Willard Coker. That's his first foul. Florida Southern getting that ball up court fast. That's the secret to their success if they can control the tempo. 2-3 zone by Virginia Union. Alston to Felix Tertullian. Evelyn's down low. Tertullian from the wing making haze. And uh, Michael Hayes hits to break the tie. Hayes took advantage of that zone, sort of collapsing. The zone is not pushing Florida Southern out far enough. Almost a walk by Linney. Looked like that back foot moved a little bit. Both teams in zone almost throughout this game. Now with a score of 44-42, Florida Southern. Virginia Union looking to pull the uh, moccasins out. That's a little too far to shoot, though, so uh, Florida Southern won't go out and chase him out that high. Virginia Union being told by their coach to hold it out, make that Florida Southern team come out and play you some more. Willard Coker.
Willard Coker with a basketball. Near steal, and it may have deflected out of bounds off Valentine. It did. Great play by Michael Hayes. Great anticipation, so quick. Hayes gonna go out and try and steal that ball. As he deflected it, he knocked it off the hands of Keith Valentine. Good play, good defense by Florida Southern. 44-42, 13-11 to play in the second half here at the Springfield Civic Center. The winner will meet New York Tech for the NCAA Division II National Championship. This is the month of March, and it's the March of Champions, continuing on ESPN, your total sports cable network. Join us for the Division III Swimming Championships from Washington and Jefferson College in Washington, Pennsylvania. The date, mark it down, Monday, March 31st at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Time as Johns Hopkins tries for a fourth consecutive title here on ESPN, the Division III National Swimming Championships from Washington and Jefferson College. Again, that's Monday, March 31st at 8.30 p.m. Brad picking up the great enthusiasm of this Virginia Uni Union cheerleading outfit. Boy, are they good. And we've got a contingent here as well from Florida Southern. Hope we get a chance to see them before this game is over. They're hiding, Dave, over there in the corner. I don't know why. I don't know why either. I'd, I'd like to see him out here. <laughs> An NCAA official said that they were picked as the all-tournament team before the competition even began. <laughs> That's Derwin Lilly, number 10, who's back in. Coker is taking a rest. Zone trap in the backcourt. Austin to Tertillion and to Ebeling, who's playing with three fouls. Michael Hayes stops, does not shoot. Ebeling walked before he shot. Basket disallowed. How whistle he, uh, Florida Southern coach. Let's see now if he's held as he, shoot, he shoots the ball. I don't know, the, the move looked clean to me, but how whistle the coach of Florida Southern thought that his player was held as he moved, and that's why he might have walked. He can think all he wants, the official wins in every case. Here's a whistle away from the play. No foul call. Kick ball, they call it. Derwin Lilly now running the show, slowing it down. 44 to 42, Florida Southern in the dark or red uniforms. They have the lead. This is Virginia Union with a ball. And Larry Holmes uh, just got out of the lane. You can hear perhaps Hal Whistle yelling three seconds. He might have been right. In and out on the shot. Tertillion has the rebound. Boston pushes it across. Spins away from Valentine. A little more than 12 minutes to go in this ball game and only two points separating the teams. They're doing a good job of shutting off Ebeling inside. Shot by Hayes is short right into the hands of Larry Holmes. Two-point game, a near steal at half court by Kurt Alston. But it belongs still to Virginia Union. Larry Holmes for Virginia Union sweeping the boards well. In one game this year, he had 26 rebounds. That was against Virginia State. Also had 39 points in that game. Larry Holmes can do it. Holmes in heavy traffic, pushes off Ebeling, but doesn't get the roll after it hits the front rim. Here come the moccasins of Florida State. Half court zone trap. Michael Hayes and the ball is kicked by Valentine. Deliberate that kick. Leg kick cannot do that. Keith Valentine doing everything he can to stop Florida Southern. Ebling comes out to the high post. Radon looks up at the clock. That's Ebling with the ball. He's only had one field goal here in the second half after being an offensive and defensive force in the first half. Playing with three fouls. Radon got the step to the baseline, uses the body, and gets fouled from behind. Smart player. Knows how to use that body to draw the uh, shooting foul. It's on Larry Holmes. Radon committed to that move. He's going to fake, get the defensive man off, back two of them off their feet, then go up and draw the foul, as you say. He couldn't, uh, he couldn't miss on that situation. Radon at six foot four has some good size to create moves like that and still come out a winner even though he doesn't get the shot off.